Hello and welcome to the Retro Lab. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to be showing how to restore your old steel wheels, remove all the rust from them, and get them looking nice so you can put them back on your car. Yeah. So the first thing we need to do is to remove all this surface rust. Um, we've got a number of options available to us. Uh, we can just try and sand it all off. That's a lot of effort. <coughs> so I'm going to try this Hammerite rust remover gel. Uh, you still need to brush up a little bit with a, so you've got a wire brush. You're going to give it a good scrubbing and then you just whack over this on in a number of coats and apparently it just eats all the rust. So we'll find out if that works. So the first thing you've got to do, scrub all the surface rust off. Oh, yeah, better get my face mask. Right, so yeah, now I just need to repeat that um, for all of the wheels and then we can put the hammer right on. So you want to put um, like a millimetre thick coating of the removing gel onto all of the rust infected areas and then you just need to leave it for 20 minutes to see how it does. Okay, so, see so we've given the wheels a nice coating. Need some other shots soon. So now we just leave the wheels for 20 minutes and then see how much rust's been removed and probably put another coat on. Okay, okay, so it's been about 20 minutes now. Um, it doesn't look that much different. So I'm gonna give it a brush with a wire brush and then another coat of that stuff. And then hopefully the rust will disappear. Let's see how that goes. So now we're going to flip them over, put them on the other side, um, leave that for 20 minutes again, and then repeat until I've run out of the rust moving stuff. Okay, so we've left the um, gel stuff overnight. Um, it says to leave it 20 minutes before we might as well leave it on because we ran out. Um, so we're going to wash it off now. I brought my pressure washer so we can just blast all the rust off, hopefully. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm also going to use some alloy wheel cleaner on it to get rid of all the brake dust that might be left so we can definitely see which bits are rust and which bits are just dirt. So here are the wheels uh, with the rust removing stuff removed now. Two of them will come out okay. You can see shiny metal on all of the wheels. So they must have done something. Uh, so now we need to dry them off 
and then we can sand them down, get all the rest of the rust off, and then begin preparation for painting. Right, so now we've um, removed all of the rust removing gel. It's now time to sand the wheels down, hopefully back to normal metal. So it took ages, but we finally got the wheels to a point um, when we think we should be able to spray them. And this one didn't have much rust on it at all, so we haven't bothered sanding it down that much. Just scored the surface to give the paint something to adhere to. Uh, we've left different amounts of, of rust on different wheels just to see whether you do need to clean them up really, really well or whether it's okay just to leave a bit of rust on them. Um, I'm going to be using a brown primer and then spraying them green. Um, chose brown because uh, white primers make colours brighter, black colours make colours well, duller. Um, so brown should be a nice even one, it should be too bright. Um, yeah, let's get cracking. So the first thing you want to do is give your can a good shake. Um, you want to be about 12 inches away from the surface you're spraying. Um, otherwise you might end up with runs. Um, if you're a bit too far away, it will get all like dusty looking paint and too close it'll be too thick. So about 12 inches away. Hope this still sprays. Yes. Ideally you want to start the spray off the side and finish off the side. You don't want to start in the middle, otherwise you'll end up with patches again. it from different angles to make sure you get in all the little grooves and stuff. Okay, so that's the first coat done. Um, we can do another wheel while we're waiting for the first coat to dry and then we'll see what it's like if there's anywhere that needs touching up and then maybe put another coat on. So, hopefully finish the undercoat now. Uh, I only put one coat on um, the wheels because I've actually run out of primer, so make sure you buy enough cans. But for the purposes of this video, should be enough, I'll show you a close up in a minute. I'm using um, a work lamp to get a bit of heat on them to hopefully dry them out a bit quicker. Okay, so the primer's now dry. Ideally, you'd want to leave it for 24 hours to fully uh, cure to the metal, but we haven't got enough time for that. So um, we can crack on with the next coat. Um, I'm putting on a green. Again, you want to make sure you shake the can up uh, well. And it's got a little metal ball bearing in there that will mix up the paint. So if you shake it and you can't hear the ball bearing, then you need to keep going until it flowers around nice, um, maybe like 30 seconds or a minute. Again, you want to be about 12 inches away um, and even spray.
Okay, so that's about it really. Um, do another couple more coats on the wheel to make sure the coating's nice and even and smooth. Um, and obviously the, the other wheels. One thing to remember though, when you finish using a, a spray can, you turn it upside down and spray it, it'll clear out all the stuff that's still in the tube, so it didn't. Okay, so they've been drying overnight now, so it's 24 hours. Hopefully it'll show up on camera, but see there's a little bit and a patchy bit here. Um, and obviously bits we've missed around the edge here. So I'll give it another coat. I mean, you, you should really sand this down and do it again, but I'm not gonna bother. Um, Cause there's only wheels. And um, if we go over to the primed ones, This is the one that was only um, scored with the sandpaper. It's quite nice and smooth. And then these two are the ones that had been sanded to different amounts. You can see, obviously it's not particularly smooth and stuff, but you're just looking at the wheels, if they're just on the car, it should be okay, or just driving past. Let me see some bits of you. But they don't look too bad. Right, so that's about it really. All we've got to do, to do now is wait for the paint to dry, um, like I said before, um, and I put it on the car and put a wheel on or a tire on it. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. All right, thanks for watching.